All right, so this is the review for our partner quiz tomorrow. So just starting with our trick facts. Remember, uh, first question with respect to angle A. So if we label angle A, we want to measure the, or label the sides as O, A, and H. So opposite, uh, the adjacent side is A, B. The opposite side would be B, C. And then the hypotenuse is A, C. So remember, sine is the ratio of O over H. Cosine is A over H and tangent is O over A. Okay, so remember those ratios, and then how to label our triangle. And the second one, uh, we have uh, the diagram, has a person on the top of the hill, person on the bottom. So the guy that's looking out and then has to look at the person on the bottom is creating the angle of depression. If you're at the bottom of the hill and looking up to the person at the top, that's the angle of elevation. These two angles, remember, are forming the Z here, so they're congruent because they're alternate interior angles. And then remember that anytime you want to use the calculator for trig, make sure you're in degree mode. You should say DEG -E up in the top corner here for our um, calculator. For the last one, we're just working through now. So show your show your work, uh, basically as we're going through. So for the first one, we want to figure out which of these equations is correct if we're trying to find uh, the 20 degree angle. So find our angle, uh, the answer is C. But find our angle, label our sides as hypotenuse and adjacent. So we have the adjacent side, the hypotenuse. We're not using the opposite. So remember the so ka toa. We're going to use cosine. So the cosine of our angle is equal to the adjacent leg over the hypotenuse. And then we'll plug the 20 in. So cosine of 20 is equal to 12 over x. And that is why our answer is going to be choice C. All right, for the next page, number two, we want to solve for x. So remember, if x is a side, if it's part of the ratio, we're just going to cross multiply. So we'll put a 1 underneath. We'll cross multiply here. So 1 times 15 is 15. x times 72 is x times 72. And then we're going to divide both sides by the sine of 72. And that will leave us with 15 over the sine of 72. So you can use your calculator for that. And you should get 15.8 for your answer there. All right, in number three, we want to write the value of sine of E. So remember, find our angle, label our size as uh, adjacent, hypotenuse, and there's the opposite. So sine, remember, is the uh, opposite over the hypotenuse, over H, and so here it's going to be four over five. Question number four, we want to find the value of tangent of A. We have our triangle labeled. Uh, C is missing up here, but it's not really important for this question. Uh, tangent A, so A is our angle. We label adjacent. There's the opposite side. There's our hypotenuse. Okay, so remember, tangent is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. And so we plug in the opposite from A is 4, and then the adjacent is 3, so 4 thirds. We did this one in class together. We want to do sine of A and cosine of A. So find our angle, label our sides, adjacent, hypotenuse, and then the opposite. So the sine of A, remember, is equal to 5, the opposite over the hypotenuse. The cosine of A is the adjacent, 12 over 13. And then for this, we're just going to add those two numbers together, and 17 over 13 becomes the answer. Question number 6. Okay, so we have our diagram, we have it labeled, we want to find the length of AC, so we put an X there. So we know we're using a right triangle with an angle, so I want to use Krakoa. So remember, we're going to find our angle, label our sides, so there's hypotenuse, adjacent, and opposite. And because I'm using the opposite and adjacent, I'm going to use tangent. All right, so we're going to pick our function. If you remember, we're going to use opposite and adjacent, so we're going to use tangent. So the tangent okay, of the angle is equal to the O over A, the opposite of adjacent, and then we plug in. So the tangent of 48 is equal to 16.3 over X, and then because X is a side, we're going to cross multiply. So it's 1 times 16.3 and X times the tangent of 48. Okay, And then we want to get rid of the tangent of 48, so we get X by itself, so we divide out, and then we just type this in our calculator and we get 14.7 to the nearest x. We're going to do the same things for number 7, a, b, and c. So for number 7a, 
same process. It's got an angle, so I know I'm going to use Vobotoa. So I find the angle measure, I label hypotenuse, opposite, not using adjacent, so I'm going to use sine. So the sine of 26 is equal to the opposite x over 74. And because I'm looking for a side, I'm going to go ahead and cross multiply. So 1 times x, 74 times 26, sine of 26, just to say. So I end up with this. And then this gets typed in the calculator, and nearest tenth is going to give me 32.4. For B, same, same thing. Angle, so adjacent and opposite means I'm going to use the tangent. So tangent of 37, opposite's x over 44. Looking for a side, so we'll go ahead and cross multiply. So 1 times x, and then 44 times the tangent of 37. This gets put in the calculator, nearest tenth, so it's 33.2. And the last one, once again, our angle is here. So we have the hypotenuse and the adjacent. So we're going to use cosine. And that's equal to the adjacent, which is x, over the hypotenuse of 92. We're going to go ahead and cross multiply. Once again, because x is in the ratio. Side. So 92 times the cosine of 56. 1 times x gives me 92 cosine 56. And then we just type that in the calculator. Nearest tenth, 51.4. Question eight, Dennis is chilling, right? Uh, walking along the winter wonderland here. He sees a tree, okay? Um, his eyesight is 1.4 meters above the ground. The angle of elevation, remember, is formed uh, from Dennis looking up. The angle of depression would be down here if the bird was looking down, okay? Um, and we know he's 40 meters from the tree. So we're trying to find here the height of the bird above the ground. Um, so what we need to do is figure out the distance from his sight line to the bird, and then add that 1.4 from his uh, from his sight line down. So if we use our angle and our two sides, we're going to use some trig. So we have opposite and adjacent. So we're going to do the tangent of 30 is equal to x over 40. And then because we're looking for a side, we're going to go ahead and cross multiply. So 40 times the tangent of 30 is equal to x. This gets typed in the calculator. It rounds to 23.1 to the nearest tenth. And then to do the height, we have to add 1.4 into x. So 23.1 plus 1.4 is 24.5. Number nine, Kendall is spotting a boat in the water. And she's standing on the top of the cliff. So here she is, okay? Um, our angle of depression that she sees is 34 degrees. So that's the angle formed over here. But this is outside of our triangle. So we're gonna put it down with the, where the elevation is because these are equal. So this is 34. We know that um, she is hanging out here 1.8 meters above uh, the cliff is her eyesight. Eyesight, for the cliff is 40 meters high. So we got to keep in mind is that the actual height all the way up and down here is actually 41.8 meters, okay, all the way up and down. So we're adding these together to get this side of the triangle. And then we're trying to find x. So we have the opposite and the adjacent here. So we're going to go ahead and use tangent. So the opposite is 41.8 over x. So once again, it's a side. We're going to cross multiply. So x times the tangent of 34, 41.8. And so that's equal to, and then we divide out of the tangent of 34, and we get x is equal to 62. 10 and 11, you don't have to do. We talked about this before. I want to cut this up in the triangles, creating these 60-degree angles, and then I'm going to draw the height down if we wanted to do this. But you do not have to do this, okay? So we're going to skip it to now. Number 12, in the accompanying diagram of right triangle ABC, okay, we have a 90-degree angle. We have 18. 52 degree angle, and we're trying to find the length of BC. So once again, we're going to find our angle. Um, it's 52. We have the adjacent side and the hypotenuse, so we're going to do cosine of 52. The adjacent is x. The, hypoten or the hypotenuse is 18. And then we're going to go ahead and cross multiply. So 1 times x, 18 times the cosine of 52. And then I end up with this. I will type into the calculator and round to the nearest tenth and get 11. Number 13, the height of a tree to the nearest tenth. So we're going to draw a picture. Tree, shadow, angle of elevation, born to the bottom corner. Okay. Um, shadow is 62 feet long. So we want to know what the height of the tree is. 
So once again, we're going to use our trig. So here's our angle. We have opposite and adjacent. So I'm going to bust out with tangent. The opposite is x over 62. Because I'm looking for a side, we're going to go ahead and cross multiply. 1 times x, 62 tangent to 33. This gets typed in the calculator, and we get 40.3. Number 14, ship out at sea, is 400, 352 meters from the base of a cliff. The angle of depression from the top of the cliff to the ship is 30 degrees. What is the height of the cliff to the nearest meter? Okay. So uh, we want to draw ourselves a picture. There's our cliff right here. Okay. So we're trying to find the height. This is 352. Remember, the angle of depression is actually formed up here, but we're going to include it down the bottom here in the angle of elevation spot. So I have opposite and adjacent again, so I'm going to go ahead and use tangent. So tangent of 38 is equal to x over 352. We're going to go ahead and cross multiply. So we get x is equal to the 352 times the tangent of 38. And then we're going to round to the nearest meter, which is 275 meters. 15. Jack approaches his work and spots a cat on top of the building. So we want to draw a picture of our building. Okay. Um, now, the important thing here is that the actual rooftop is 20 meters from the ground, but his eyesight is actually 1.5 meters off the ground. So the height of our triangle is actually going to be 18.5. Okay, so keep that in mind as we're working along here. Um, and then we want to know how far away from the building Jack is. So here's my triangle. I have the opposite and adjacent sides. So I'm going to go ahead and use tangent. So opposite is 18.5 over x. I'm going to cross multiply, so x times the tangent of 59, and then 18 and a half. This is not done correctly, so let's go ahead and do this one. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do x um, times the tangent of 59. Whoa, too much. All right, times the tangent of 59 is equal to 18.5. And then I'm going to go ahead and divide out by the tangent of 59. And then this will give me my answer. So x is going to equal, okay? We're going to go ahead and grab our calculator here. All right. Um, and we said we're going to do 18 and a half over the tangent of 59. So we're going to have trig, tangent, 59, and we get 11.1. .1. We're going to the nearest meter, so that's 11 meters. That's how far away from the building he is. All right. Uh, the last question, we have these similar triangles here. So that tells us that the uh, triangles are being dilated to create a smaller one. There's a scale factor involved, and... More importantly, that our angles are congruent. So when we look at the first question, it says sine of A. And I'm looking at the sine of A, and I'd be like, oh, that's ABC over AC, right, opposite over hypotenuse. That's not the letters here. What they're actually doing is they're saying the sine of A, but they're actually giving us the ratio of the sine of B. Remember, if A and D are equal, then the sine of A is also equal to the sine of D, okay? So if I looked at the sine of D, Right, it would be the opposite side, which is over here, over the hypotenuse. And so when I'm labeling it, it's actually going to be FE, right, or EF, if you want to say that. Okay, and this is over DF. And you see that this actually says DE in the ratio, so that one we know is wrong. Okay, likewise, in letter uh, B, we're actually doing the sine of C, and so that's the same as actually the sine of F. And the sine of F, right, is DE opposite here over the hypotenuse. So that would be DE over um, FD. And so this is wrong because this should be flipped. That should be the opposite. Okay. The tangent of C is the same as the tangent of F. And the tangent of F is the opposite side. So that's DE over the adjacent side, which is EF. And you can see that this is off. So this one's off. 
And the tangent of D is the same as the tangent of A. The tangent of A is the opposite side, so that would be BC here over the uh, adjacent side. Okay, so that's going to be AB. And you can see that that A actually is what the ratio is. And so this would be my correct answer. So if they tell you the triangles are similar, just, just be careful and make sure that you're what triangle, what the sign of uh, one of the angles is actually congruent to the sign of the angle that's congruent. So the sign of A would be equal to sine of B, okay? And the sine of uh, C would be the same as sine of F. All right, guys, that's it. Um, hopefully that helped. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great night.